In this video, we will read Proverb 6 and discuss what the chapter means at the end. My son, if you have put up security for your neighbor, have given your pledge for a stranger, if you are snared in the words of your mouth, caught in the words of your mouth, then do this, my son, and save yourself, for you have come into the hand of your neighbor. Go, hasten, and plead urgently with your neighbor. Give your eyes no sleep and your eyelids no slumber. Save yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter, like a bird from the hand of the fowler. Go to the ant, O sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise. Without having any chief, officer, or ruler, she prepares her bread in summer and gathers her food in harvest. How long will you lie there, O sluggard? When will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come upon you like a robber, and want like an armed man, a worthless person, a wicked man, goes about with crooked speech, winks with his eyes, signals with his feet, points with his finger, with perverted heart devises evil, continually sowing discord, therefore calamity will come upon him suddenly. In a moment he will be broken beyond healing. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil. A false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. My son, keep your father as commandment and forsake not your mother as teaching. Bind them on your heart always, tie them around your neck. When you walk, they will lead you. When you lie down, they will watch over you. And when you awake, they will talk with you. For the commandment is a lamp, and the teaching a light, and the reproofs of discipline are the way of life to preserve you from the evil woman from the smooth tongue of the adulteress. Do not desire her beauty in your heart, and do not let her capture you with her eyelashes. For the price of a prostitute is only a loaf of bread, but a married woman hunts down a precious life. Can a man carry fire next to his chest and his clothes not be burned? Or can one walk on hot coals and his feet not be scorched. So is he who goes into his neighbor's wife. None who touches her will go unpunished. People do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his appetite when he is hungry. But if he is caught, he will pay sevenfold. He will give all the goods of his house. He who commits adultery lacks sense. He who does it destroys himself. He will get wounds and dishonor and his disgrace will not be wiped away, for jealousy makes a man furious, and he will not spare when he takes revenge. He will accept no compensation. He will refuse though you multiply gifts. Proverbs 6 Explanation Verses 1 through 5 The first lesson relates to wisely caring for a person's wealth. Solomon urges people to avoid financial entanglements by not entering into a cosign loan. If a person does cosign and realizes they have gotten into a risky situation, they should try to get out even if that means humiliation. This does not prohibit all debt or lending. It strongly advises being careful not to waste what one has earned. Verses 6 through 11. Laziness is another way a person may become poverty stricken. Solomon tells us to consider the at. The at needs no supervision. It works hard to meet its needs both in present and in its future. Unless a person works, poverty will overtake them, just as a robber or an armed man overtakes his victim. The general principles are seen in common sense. A wasted opportunity cannot be made up. 
12 through 19 points out that a wise person refuses to stir up strife. This is meant as general wisdom. In most cases, the ones that aggravate trouble are the ones who are likely to suffer from it. A worthless person is described as a person who sows discord. Here is a list of attitudes God hates, arrogance, deceit, violence against innocent, an evil heart, and lies. If you was to summarize their sins, it would be someone who creates controversy or hatred among others. Verses 20 through 23. Solomon is saying the lessons he is teaching will guide and keep you from danger. As with other statements, this is a question of risk versus reward. Making good choices does not absolutely guarantee a good outcome. Evil and chance can still happen. Those who follow wise paths are less likely to run into trouble. Verses 24 through 35, Solomon says to avoid falling prey to smooth talking, alluring beauty, and enticing glances. He compares a disapproved relationship to that of carrying fire next to the chest and to walking on hot coals. He says an adulterer is senseless and self-destructive. People may have sympathy for one who is starving and steals bread, but not for a man who violates his neighbor's wife. They that are adulterers risk suffering from revenge and shame. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more daily Christian content.